Good afternoon, family. It's Ascended Twin, 144K. I'm here to do your general collective energy read for y'all damn funky ass to buy masculine male or female. Family, if y'all are under 18, 18 and under, if anybody is 18 and under, I need you to vacate my channel, Effective Immediamente, okay? Thank you. Now, let me see what is going on here. Since I split the deck here, what it appears to be, between death and peace. So, Holy Spirit, give me an energy for the Divine Masculine Collective. Please surround me by the highest white light, Holy Spirit of my ancestors, my celestial family, and allow me to receive pure downloads of information to give to the collective of information that they're seeking. Your person is understanding that deaths are merely endings, are merely new beginnings. Holy Spirit, give me a message for the Divine Masculine Collective. Where are they at presently in their energies? Growth and indecisive. So they're indecisive about changing. They have a lot of fears about expanding their level of consciousness and awareness. They're indecisive about every aspect of their life at this present time. So some of you, you're dealing with people that don't know what the hell they want. Holy Spirit, they know that you are the divine soulmate. Yeah, they know that you milk and honey. You the promise. You are the promise. Holy Spirit, give me some messages of how the divine masculine feels about his divine feminine. Don't want to come together is what I'm getting. Yep, they still stuck between worlds, between where they're at with the karmic and coming into union towards you. So a lot of them are still stuck. How does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine Holy Spirit? That you have a deep knowing. They know you the fucking High Priestess, High Priest, male or female. There he is, Divine Masculine. This is your official person. Some of them could be asking help from others as well. I'm going to save that deck for another time. Yeah, they're bored, they're contemplating, and they are detached. Holy Spirit, sh give me a message here about how the Divine Masculine feels about himself, male or female. How does the Divine Masculine feel about himself, Holy Spirit? Wolf in sheep's clothing. They run on instinct. Holy Spirit, how does the Divine Masculine feel about himself or herself? That whatever between you and them, it's not going to be renewed. They are not in renewed energy. They still need enlightenment. Holy Spirit, how does the Divine Masculine feel about his karmic partner, male or female? How does the Divine Masculine, male or female, feel about their karmic partner, male or female? Creation, so some of them could be creating businesses, children, families. How does the divine masculine feels like she's his divine counterpart? That's what he feel like, but he operating from fucking pride and ego. There you go. All right, spirit, let's go. Your divine counterpart is very judgmental, very harsh. Some of them could be very battle scarred and very battle worn. A lot of them are old and fragile. They ain't old and fragile. Some of these masculines are still out here. 60 and 70 years old. 40 and 50 years old. Still on the same fuck boy, fuck girl shit. Male or female. Holy Spirit, give me some messages about the Divine Masculine Collective. Yeah, Page of Wands. They still showing up as fucking kids. Some of them got kids that just graduated high school. And their life is a whole fucking circus. They treat uh, this union like it's a circus too. Holy Spirit, give me some messages for the Divine Masculine Collective. A lot of them 
are trying to avoid some type of judgment, some type of karma that they're going through. But them angels is on their asses for their pride and ego and arrogance. What else, Holy Spirit? A lot of firepower coming down right here, right about now. What else? There's a lot of challenges over here. Yeah, your divine masculine could be dealing with a bitchy ass queen of wand, a queen of swords, somebody that they may have children with, king of wands. So somebody here getting their ass cussed out about some damn children. They constantly fighting. Your divine masculine could always feel like he has to defend himself from this uh, king of wands. Your divine masculine could be in the queen of swords energy. Some of y'all could be in the queen of swords energy as well. But um, six of cups, yeah, they're constantly fighting with this soulmate. Some of them, they've known this soulmate since school. Since school. And that ass, somebody head is on fire. So their crown chakra is truly being illuminated about certain things. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit, for the Divine Masculine Collective. And they're in hangman energy. They're stuck. Some of them need to go within. They don't think clearly. They don't stay um, in clear thought long enough to make a decision. They just run on instinct, as we know. But some of them have come out of thinking, coming out of hermit mode. Um, where they may have retreated you, retreated from you or ghosted you, and now they're going through some type of ascension here. So whatever they were in, it promoted them to move forward because whatever they were in, it crashed and burnt. This angel is assisting. Yeah, there could have been a third party situation here. Somebody could be hella emotional in this situation. Yeah, somebody here is coming out of hiding. For some of you, your divine counterparts have been in hiding. They want a new beginning in love, the Ace of Cups, with a soulmate. We're going to see who this soulmate is. That's you, though. I feel strongly. Yeah, they still have choices to make where love is concerned. Yep, somebody here is leaving a situation. <laughs> they like, I don't care how I got to get here. Some of you, your divine counterparts like to night fish. Some of the, some of you may even like to fish. Holy Spirit, give me some messages for the Divine Masculine Collective, male or female. Messages for the Divine Masculine Collective, male or female. Somebody here, the relationship is evolving. Um, the next phase for inner healing of childhood growth in order for them to have growth in their life. Tell me about the judgment for the Divine Masculine. Why is it here and what are they going through? Yeah, some of them could have got caught looking at your photos. For those of you, there it is, Twin Flame. Tell me about the Six of Wands. So some of them could have got caught with some of you, your photographs in, your, um, in their phone or on their computer, their tablet. They could have got caught, maybe um, if it wasn't from the karmic, it could have been a family member or a friend that snitched on the damn divine masculine. Male or female, they are surrounded by jealous family fam family members and friends and co-workers as well. They're challenged to take the time out to heal because this came out in the challenge position as well. And it takes time, progress, in cycles. It's just not a one-time thing because you could come right out of healing of one thing and get triggered by another thing and end up having to go back and do some more healing. So there, there's time. He needs time. Divine timing. So a lot of you, your divine counterpart still has the key to your heart. Some of you, you have the key to your divine counterpart's heart. Tell me about this king of swords in the challenge position. All of their cards are coming out. They're challenged to make healthier choices in life. He's very guarded. He's very defensive. Did I say king of swords no queen of swords i'm sorry but this uh divine masculine for some of you they're in feminine energy distorted feminine energy and they're challenged to heal and make healthier choices in love and life yeah again they're trying to rise like the phoenix go through some type of renewal transformation growth change of mind mm -hmm. tell me about the king of wands who is this king of wands and why are they here in the challenge position grim reaper then came in and took this relationship whether this is with you or with the karmic yeah a lot of you this is with both of you 
They done fucked it up so bad. They got to fix it with both of y'all. They destroy. They self-sabotage. Then they want to come in and interrogate you. Try to put you on the defensive. They try to put the karmic on the defensive. And then they want to fix it. And then they start the process over and over and over again. Tell me about the hermit in the reverse, Holy Spirit, for the Divine Masculine Collective. What did they come out of hiding from? Something that they thought was paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Yeah, they were in it for the stability and the security. Holy Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Some of them want to come in and offer you a cup of love, but y'all don't want to sit down and have no conversation, whether it's tea, coffee, Starbucks, or nothing. And they still miss you. There's a lot of sadness. They miss you. They think about you. They yearn about you, but they're still unsure of the future of this union. Fuck that nigga. Holy Spirit, tell me about... Excuse me, y'all. Don't, don't follow me. Um, tell me about the Two of Cups, because I'm brutal. You can call me a narcissist. You can call me whatever the fuck you want. But I'm I'm not going to sit up here and pussyfoot with somebody that stabbed me in the motherfucking back. You ain't got but one time to put a goddamn knife in my back. Fuck you. Love call. So they know you're the soulmate. Some of you, you've already received a love call. I know I received mine and I sent that bitch straight to voicemail. You, I, Like I said, you don't give but one time to fuck me. Tell me about the lovers. Mm -hmm. I'll help you, but you ain't going to never fuck me over again. Yeah, they got a choice to make. And they're now wanting to chase you. They want to take a risk with you. Divine Femmes, mm -hmm. after they stabbed you in the back. Yeah, they're going through an ending. There's needing to. They need to learn to stop with the breakup patterns, the separation, um, the abandonment issues. They need to stop with the silent treatment because that's trying to control the outcome of a situation. Some of them could be involved with strippers, people that work in the sex industry, and they enjoy it. Some of them could also uh, operate in the sex industry with a couple of, uh, or they know the boss of a sex industry. Some of them could have court cases as well. Some of them could also be hiding that they have a vehicle that's missing, or well, not missing, but I'll say it like this. They haven't, uh, they've been having some financial issues. So uh, to not have the repo man come out and get their shit, they hiding it. Holy Spirit, tell me why the judgment in the photograph is in the challenge position for the Divine Masculine Collective. And a lot of you as the high priest, high priestess, y'all don't turn your backs on them. Yeah, you don't want this fucking cup of love. You'd have made your own judgment, a lot of you. Mm -hmm. Because this person was so so harsh with you until you became the king of swords, queen of swords, and you ended this shit, male or female. Tell me about the king of wands and the clock in the challenge position. Yeah, tower hit. Somebody had an epiphany moment. Mm-hmm. Divine masculine, there you go. There he is, Divine Masculine, having a fucking tower moment. Tell me more about this tower moment, Holy Spirit. What was this tower about that they so challenged to heal about? What is this about? Ooh. They having a tower moment about you. No, I'm sorry. Somebody that they thought was their empress is a karmic empress in love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were trying to collect you as a sister wives, a sister uh, or, or the husband, whichever one works, and they got kids. And they could have found out that this last baby here ain't even theirs with this damn karmic empress. What's the outcome on this shit, Holy Spirit, with these two? Mm-hmm. The moon. They challenge by secrets. Uh-huh. Yeah. There could have been three karmics that ganged up on his ass and started uh, to stand up for themselves. I told y'all some of these karmics is 
starting to have some damn tower moments and having some awakenings too. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the healthy choice and challenge position. Told you they're involved in a circus and they treated this damn divine union like it was nothing more than a fucking game. And they were the ringleader of it. Now, they're running. <laughs> they're on the run. What are they on the run from, Holy Spirit? And they're very guarded and very defensive, too. Because they ain't standing their ground. Mm-hmm. Trying to defend this old karmic-ass relationship that they're in. Mm-hmm. Knight of Swords. There could be a lot of harsh arguments, fighting. They could have known this person since college, high school. They could have known each other since kids, for some of you. There's a circus that's involved. What is this circus about with this divine masculine? What are they finding out, Holy Spirit? What are they finding out here? Oh, okay. Yeah. This queen of coins got a new baby, but it might be that friend. It might be a family member. Yeah, they've been betrayed. Thank you, Spirit. I know it. I know it. And they're holding on to a situation for finances. This person... Their trust, their faith has been broken. This sword also represents the sword of truth. It's destroyed. So now this person is a liar, a deceiver, a Decepticon. They have no reason to be honest to you or with you or about anything that they have going on in their life. Y'all better think twice. This person needs to heal and renew themselves. They're still in devil toxic ass energy. Tell me about this King of Wands and the Grim Reaper that took this relationship. What relationship was taken here, Holy Spirit? The divine collective relationship or this karmics or both? Somebody's crown was taken and they want it back. So this is y'all's relationship. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all may even have children with your divine masculines. A lot of them are stuck and trapped in situations. Some of them are sitting in jail and they're about to go to jail. They got babies all over the goddamn place here from the looks of things. Yeah. Making babies and then finding out that they ain't theirs. Taking care of babies that ain't theirs. Mm-hmm. What else, Holy Spirit? Some of these babies belong to his best friends and family members, like a brother. Mm-hmm. Queen of Cups. So... They lost their crown to be your queen, your king of cups. Mm -hmm. All they want is the ace of wands. Some of them are going through a transformation. I am seeing a dragonfly. And if that's not them, that's y'all. I'm watching a dragonfly right now navigate themselves through life. Some of you, you better go. If you're going to sleep with your divine counterpart, whether you want to be back with them or not, you see this Q-tip on fire? That's that dick on fire. Something is coming out that's real nasty out of somebody's peen or their coochie. If your divine counterpart sends you some documents and said that they are clean, excuse me, of any STD, you make them go retest when you test. If they refuse, you already know your answer. You better already know it now. Your intuition. Because all they want to come in for is sex. Mm-hmm. And it's going to create an a imbalanced situation. Because there's already three other women ahead of you. For some of you. Holy Spirit, tell me about the hermit in the reverse. And paradise. Sound to me like paradise lost. Mm-hmm. Yep, two of coins. Like I said, some of them, they got a choice between three other women besides you, Divine Femme. A lot of them see you as a star, a rising star. And you have a lot of integrity. That's an eagle soaring very high. So some of you could be, you have your own social platforms. Some of you could do the same thing that I'm doing here. Tarot and divination teaching about spirituality, teaching about learning to use your intuition. This person also knows that 
um, you're destined and fated to do something great, they can feel it. A lot of you are life coaches, motivational speakers. Um, you lead in some type of way like the Hierophant, and they also see your money on the rise too. And that's enticing. That's what made this bitch come out of hermit mode. They coming for your fucking finances. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, take what resonates in this reading, what ain't, it ain't your story. But some of you, your divine counterparts, they got third party situations going on, definitely. And they got to get the strength to walk this spiritual path. Holy Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Cups and the Coffee Cup Reverse for the Divine Masculine. Told you. This person can't be trusted. Didn't I tell you? Divine timing is at work to get rid of that goddamn devil energy. Anytime you see the strength card, you can guarantee the devil has been, been there. Trust me. Yeah. They trying to blow some fiery smoke up your ass. They trying to send you some passionate communication. There could be some distance between y'all. If nothing else, to me, your divine masculine is unawakened. And y'all are on fucking fire. Y'all are creating your destiny. Holy Spirit, tell me about the two of cups. Mm-hmm. A lot of them still don't want this union, and neither do you. Even though they know you're the soulmate, they're going to reach out and touch and call you. But they're already heavily invested in something else. And that's what's creating the stalemate. Two of swords. Holy Spirit, tell me about the lovers, the chasers, and the hand of cards. Why is this here for the divine masculine? Didn't I tell you? Some of y'all are dealing with a narcissist. Point blank period. It didn't come out. And they're very guarded and they're defensive. They're on the run with they Bonnie and Clyde. Or another bitch that's Bonnie and Clyde. What's behind it? Mm -hmm. And Spirit is lighting that ass up. There's some of them, their crown chakras are on, on fire. Because it's time for them to get on this path. A lot of them are receiving karma. Some type of legal justice here where they got to defend themselves they also know you're the one but they betrayed you and they hurt you Mm-hmm. and there is no wish fulfillment they're keeping secrets about what they got going on on this journey and they're still in player mode and the door is always welcome and the dick is always up and there's a lot of regret Mm-hmm. With the family situation that they created. You see that crack in that in that vase and that vase? Their emotions are about to overtake them and overwhelm them because they got too many people pregnant in situations. And they hiding. <laughs> they hiding and trying to get the fuck away. From their uh look at this. They got another baby on the way. Woo. <laughs> And they looking for somebody to save them. I can't, you know what? I'm so over this. Mm-hmm. Ten of swords. Time for them to go through a transformation. Your divine counterparts are a whole hot mess. They got choices to make. They keeping secrets. They got a lot of fears, a lot of anxiety. Some of them are in PTSD mode because of the karma that they're getting as a player. Mm-hmm. They got court cases coming through. All kinds of shit. Your divine masculines are a whole hot mess. And this is your official person trying to come in with a little gift. Mm-hmm. They got a gift for you. You stay heavily on their thoughts. Some of them are the king of pentacles. And they need to go within to gain inner wisdom, clarity, and guidance. Mm-hmm. About this empress that they would... They took a foolish ass leap of faith with. A lot of them are in the queen of swords energy as I stated before. So like I said, a lot of them are in their empress energy because they need to feel their emotions. This has been your reading family. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, friends, and coworkers. You can find me here 
on YouTube as Ascended Twin. You go in my about portion of the channel and you will find all of the other channels that I run and upload videos on as well as how to donate to the channel. Thank you in advance for all of those who choose to donate as well as if you're interested in booking a reading, you can do so at Twin Flames with a Z, 144 at gmail.com. Y'all take care of yourselves, family, and until the next time we talk, peace.